It's the Daily Dog. Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today for the very first of our throwback Thursday episodes. This is brand new for 2023 and here's what we're doing, y'all. Uh, all throughout 2022, we uh, put uh, our videos on YouTube. We also put a whole bunch of videos on my Patreon platform, which has a paywall. So if you would like to support me as a creator over on my Patreon, I would greatly uh, appreciate it. But there is a lot of content throughout 2022 that I released to my patrons that has not yet been released on YouTube. And so every week for 2023 on Thursdays, we are going to release a previously unreleased recording uh, that I have made and, and share it with our YouTube audience. And first up is uh, the cinema show from Genesis. And this comes from our very first fan favorites episode that we did back in February of 2022. And in that month, which includes uh, Valentine's Day, our genre or our topic for all of these songs was relationship songs. And so uh, as you'll see here, uh, this song from Genesis uh, Cinema Show received the most number of votes of any of the songs that were put up for this particular video. And so my reaction here comes at the very end of the video. Uh, it was the 12th out of 12 songs. So I was a little tired by the time that I got to this one. I think it was over an hour and a half of continuous recording through 11 songs before we culminated with this one. But uh, I, I have fond memories of it and I am sure that you will find it uh, awesome as well. I actually now have the vinyl for Seconds Out and I have enjoyed hearing this song uh, several times since reacting to it for the first time. But here from February of 2022 is my reaction to Cinema Show by Genesis. The one that got the, okay, so whatever a drum roll we want to do. Um, interesting. If you would have asked me what band is going to be the one that tops out. So when I say tops out, like all of these in the, in the initial polling had enough to get into the little poll on Patreon, right? And then uh, of all of the 18 songs on Patreon, the one that got the most votes was the cinema show. By Genesis and it was suggested by gremlins music thank you gremlin uh, and they say beautiful lyrics some more direct about a romantic date some more metaphorical with mythological references and then the music has all the virtuosity of Genesis in the 70s at the top of their game this is from selling England by the pound from 1973 written by Mike Rutherford Tony Banks and Phil Collins um, I remember some folks, though, uh, I made a bummer, uh, a boo-boo, y'all. Uh, as I was going through, uh, y'all all put your, your YouTube links in the fan favorites thing, right? Here's what happened. I got rid of them after I had the data that I needed, but I didn't keep the, uh, the YouTube links, so I don't remember which YouTube link you actually sent me. So I picked what I think is the best one, okay? And I remember... In the recesses of my brain, I think it was on a Daily Doug Live uh, with the Council of Dugs. Somebody said, when you're listening to Cinema Show, listen to the Seconds Out version. And so that's what I'm doing, okay? If it's right or if it's wrong, I've heard a lot of things about Seconds Out, uh, but I've never listened to anything off of that. So this is a 10 minute and 58 second track called Cinema Show Live in Paris. Uh, and it says Genesis Seconds Out. Uh, copyright uh, 1977. Uh, drums Bill Bruford, percussion Chester Thompson, uh, Mike Rutherford, um, Phil, there's Steve Hackett, there's Tony Banks, and yeah, and uh, Peter Gabriel is listed as a writer, but this is after I think uh, Peter was in the band. So we're going to hear Phil, I think, singing this instead of Peter. I think that's the main difference. Um, if that irks you in some way, apologies. But I've been wanting to listen to some of Seconds Out. So this is that performance, and it goes like this. Here we go.
that brightened up. Okay, so the classic relationship story. Like literally Romeo and Juliet, right? She said, and turned to go on. Can she be laid for her seal of motion? I think they're in D. Now here's Romeo. So they're each getting ready for a date. Is that what this is? I love how they just sneak in some Greek mythology right into a lyric. This is gorgeous, y'all. Forget that it's live. Tiresias uh, is the seer of um, Thebes, if I remember right. It's, it's gorgeous. I'm just taking a look at this, at the, the lyric and really figuring out what they're talking about. So like a D minor seven, and then they move it down to a C. So that seventh of the D seven is now the root of the C. I think that was B flat back to the C. And then G major. Brightens up all of a sudden, right? With Father Tiresias. Listen to the old man speak of all he has lived through. Been all around the world. Once a man, 
That's all of the lyrics. And we've got a good, like, five minutes left. Alright, so let's just settle in for some Genesis, y'all. First verse, Juliet is getting ready to, and she doesn't want to be late for her date at the cinema show. Meanwhile, Romeo is also hurrying, and he doesn't want to be late to the date either. I'm pretty sure they're going on a date with each other. And he thinks that he's going to get rather lucky this evening. about the other stuff because there's too much cool stuff to listen to. Oh, 
I'll be damned. Just, I'm lost in their sound. Whew. So there you go, friends. Um, let me tell you what I was going to tell you before I couldn't get a, a, a word in uh, between Tony's piano <laughs> notes. Uh, so we've got, how is this a relationship song? We've got Juliet and we've got Romeo. Juliet is uh, uh, getting ready for her date at the cinema show. And Romeo is as well. And he thinks he's going to get lucky. And can can he fail armed with his chocolate surprise? Um, hmm. uh, and then take a little trip b back with Father Tiresias. So... The fact that, you know, Juliet, you know, she wants to look pretty. She wants to uh, put her concealer on. You know, she's she's ready to go. She'll make her bed and she turned to go. She doesn't want to be late. She's just, you know, being her normal self. And then Romeo has this bravado and he's doing his thing. And, and he's like, I don't, and he proclaims, right? And so that goes, when they, when he, they bring up Tiresias, if I remember... Tiresias lived in Greek mythology as both a male and a female. And at some point, some of the gods, I don't remember all of it. It's been a long time since I looked at Greek mythology. But what I remember is that Tiresias was tasked with figuring out which gender, male or female, um, um, experienced more pleasure during sexual relations. And uh, so the, Tiresias lives, at, had lived, I think, as a, a man, or some, you know, had lived as a man, now lived as a, uh, as a woman, was, you know, birthed back into, into uh, you know, the world, and comes back some, you know, many, many years later and says, drum roll, uh, women. And whoever he was reporting back to, uh, or she was reporting back to, uh, was, uh, was upset enough, probably a guy, uh, that I think, uh, she was, um, Tiresias was blinded or made deaf. I can't remember. Um, I think it was blind though, but it's that, um, it's that tale of, of, uh, you know, is it really the guy or is it the gal? And so they say, take a little trip back with Father Tiresias. Listen to the old one speak of all he has lived through. Okay, so they're calling Tiresias a he. And then Tiresias, I think this is in Tiresias' voice. I have crossed between the poles. For me, there's no mystery. I've been everywhere, y'all. I've lived several lifetimes. And then he says, once a man, when I was a man, like the sea I raged. So when I was a man, like the sea, I raged. Once a woman, like the earth, I gave. Um, but there is, in fact, more earth than sea. So once a man, I like the sea, I raged. But as a woman, like the earth, I gave. And there's more earth than sea. So congratulations, gals. You know, <laughs> and that is how we ended it, friends. Uh, yeah, I wrapped up from there, but that was the end of our very first fan favorites episode, which are exclusively posted over on my Patreon. And if you become a patron of mine, you can become involved in uh, helping us select each of these songs for these fan favorites. I did 10 fan favorites episodes in uh, 2022, and we did 99 songs. So we've got quite a bit that's been uh, pre-recorded and uh, is waiting to be released. So this was the first one. I am happy that you have been here for The Cinema Show by Genesis. Thanks, y'all. We'll see you next time on another edition of The Daily Doug.